<laughs> okay, bitch, it's on. It is on, like Donkey Kong. I'm taking you down. <laughs> oh my god. Talk about annoying ass enemies. So as you can see, there's an Ungabunga in this cage here, and we can't really cage the elephant, so we have to shoot an egg in there and go inside. It'll lead inside his chamber where it can blow his ass up. I'll go shape it a pair, but still two of us left. I don't know why he's a pirate now. He should be a pirate. A pirate would be a lot cooler. I was about to say, if they had a pirate world, that'd be awesome, but I guess you could say Jolly Roger's Lagoon is like borderline pirate. But still. I don't think so. Okay, river passage. This should lead us inside. If not, then it's another move for Banjo, in which we need to split up to get. Yep, it is that fucking area. Is there a split up pad here? Because that would be a godsend right now. Please tell me there is. Oh, there is. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. Hey, bit a bop. Okay, we're going to be using that double jump a lot in here. Considering we can't really, you know, kill these things. Yeah. You have to sneak by the best you can. Then from here, we're just going to skip the bottom part. Okay, or not. Fuck it. Or you could just do this. God. <laughs> I swear, I make things more complicated just because I would... <sighs> no Kazooie means space in your pack. A way you fill is what you lack. Pick large things up off the ground and they go and carry them around. That'll be all. Yash me ashed. Now, with that move, we can get the last Jiggy in Witchy World. We can also get a lot more Jiggies in this world. Unfortunately, that's now the gimmick of this world, is using Clockwork Kazooie eggs, hatching things, and also um, basically using Banjo to pick shit up and carry it places. So there's going to be a lot of split up pads in the next few episodes, or at least I'm going to be looking for a lot of split up pads. Man, we still haven't found a way inside the cave yet. We suck. Oh, and there's a... Uh, honeycomb piece for us. You just gotta be careful right here because that water current will literally just take you off and there's no way to avoid it. But rather than that we're just gonna jump down. Rather than worry about it. And we're back down at the bottom. How lovely. Okay well shit. I was hoping to get inside the mountain. Oh, I'm an idiot. There's an entrance right here. This is the only entrance I can think of at the time, so go shove it. There's a split up pad here, but I don't know, Chucky. Huh. I'm trying to remember what's the best way to go about this. Because you have to get on top of that mountain in the center. And that's not exactly easy. But yeah, I was about to say, if memory serves me right, there is a flight pad right here that we can just take. To fly up to it. And trust me, we're going to be using that flight pad again, so... Because there's stuff even higher up than this that we have to get to. Stiff. God damn it. Can I not... There we go. Chomposaurus, stomach cramped carnivore. Oh dear. He's sniffing us. We're flying, barely hovering above the ground. Our soft feet, barely. Ow. Okay. I was trying to write something. Inside Chompa's belly. Can you hear me in there? I won't digest you if you help me out with my little stomach problem. Do you want to hear what you've got to do? No. Ready? Three, two, one, go. You have to score a certain amount of points, and it's basically shoot shit. As you can imagine, this is not that difficult. 
Come on, come on. Come on, Cletus. Alright. Still got half a minute, and I'm pretty sure we already got the uh, goal. But you never know. Da ba doop doop, da ba doop, da ba doop. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, oh, all up in my chompa's belly, destroying ulcers like we're peanut butter and jelly. I'm pretty sure peanut butter and jelly gives you ulcers. Maybe that's why this chompa's belly is full of ulcers. He shouldn't eat so much bears. Done. That feels bad. <laughs> I swallowed this awful thing earlier. I thought it was a biscuit. Please take it with you when you leave. Oh, wait. I thought it was a biscuit. Okay. <laughs> That's not a biscuit. Do you want to play again? No. No. Let's crawl out of his throat. God, how uncomfortable that would be. For both of us. But, yeah. How do you like it? Well, see you later, Chompa. You know, I probably would have preferred to get a biscuit out of that rather than a jiggy. Probably would have suited me better. Would have served me better, too. Now, hold on there, Carol Ann. Okay, so... Up next, we have... A... We actually have a pretty easy Jinjo to get. I don't know why. Hold on, let me fly to the top of here. See, the pr trouble with Tribbles is that you have an egg way up here. And let me tell you, it is not easy to get out. Um, which means the entrance to that is actually way farther up the mountain. Which means that if we go farther up the mountain, we'll find it. Holy crap. Okay. Enough of the yammering. <laughs> okay, I need to cool my shit and get my shit straight all at the same time. Now the honeycomb piece over there is taunting me, but trust me, we're not going to be getting that yet. Let's change the clockwork. Kazooie, I should have done this a long time ago. There we go. Ah, yeah. Okay, that asshole got what was coming to him. Now hold on, I'm gonna check my time. Okay, we're good on time. Uh, huh. Okay then. Wait. Hmm. Oh, I know exactly where we're going next. It's not that hard. Yeah. We actually have some stuff in the train station to do as well. Big surprise, going back to the train station. Okay, so that Jinjo over there, that black Jinjo, and that Rock Nut, they're both real people, so... <laughs> we gotta kill one and save one, not choose. But unfortunately, this wall is full of holes and complicated ways to get around. So it can be confusing how to get places. How to get places. Okay, let's try this one. Nope, that's just... That's not even a passage. Where does this lead? This is Jinjo. Or is it? No, this just leads out. Uh... Okay. That one's Rock Nut. Where does this lead? That's leading nowhere! Okay, fine. I'm gonna try this hole over here. Oh, and lo and behold. That's which one it was. That's which one it was. My English is phenomenal. Okay. Now we have to go to the train station, don't we? Yes. Train station. Now. Do it. Do it now. 
this world is surprisingly going by slightly faster than I thought it would. Which, that's always a good sign. Okay, so here's our last rock nut guy. Except he's not really... <sighs> he's not easy to get to, is basically what I'm gonna trying to say here. Okay. Boom! And since I don't think we can jump over there... Bada boom! Now something I should have done in the last episode while we opened the train station was I should have called the train here. Yeah, yeah, would you like Chuffy to pick you up? Of course. Why wouldn't I? Come on, Chuffy! And if you remember, in Witchy World, we actually freed a dinosaur from prison. And he got into the back of the train. So... I guess you are you can probably guess what's gonna happen here. Why do I have two, like, dinosaur butt buddies near me? What's going on in here? Oh god, they're coming for me! Oh jeez! Okay. And there she goes. I hope mom won't be too mad at me. <laughs> Cause you know, that's a girl's voice. I hope mom won't be too mad at me. Jeez. <laughs> Holy crap, Stegosauruses. And there's the Stegosaurus cave. We haven't been in there yet, but we will. Thanks for returning my lost child. She'll be cleaning out her cave for the next month. As punishment. Yeah, if only. If only I could clean out a cave for a month. I'd make that cave mine. I don't know why I killed that dinosaur. I just... <laughs> I'm trying to, you know, speed up the process of extinction here. Extinction? Ah, uh, boy. Oh, boy. Damn it. I am gonna have to memorize that fucking code. He's got the code! He's gonna hack! What do you have to say? You not come past. No one gets an Oogle Boogle cave. They bad, man. Why is that? We Unga Bungas want to rule all Teradak land. Oogles want to share. They bad. Yeah. The Oogles want to share. What a bunch of bitches. Trust me, I know a thing or two about bitches. So we're going to take this shortcut and get back to Wumba's wigwam. We're gonna do our transformation. And her door is gigantic. You have Globo, I wanna give to Humba. Yep, we've seen this like 20 times, man. Holy crap. Jump in Wumba Pool. Wumba Wumba. Wumba Chalanga. And as you probably could have guessed, we are a T Rex. Probably. This is baby T-Rex. So we kind of suck as a baby T-Rex because we can't do donkey dick. Except go, ah. But if we talk to this dinosaur, wow, a new dinosaur. What are you? A vicious T-Rex. You're not that vicious. You don't even know how to roar properly, do you? Or, no, I don't think we do. It's easy. Just tap X for short and hold X for a long one. Thanks. Let's go roar at someone. Uh, shoot. You know what I should have done? Damn it. Probably should have, you know, read the code before doing this. So yeah, if you see any of these dinosaur switches, you can now just roar. Or dinosaur doors, switches, whatever. You can roar at them and it'll go shabooze. Only when the secret code of the dinosaurs is heard was it should be yours. Okay, and that's not even where the secret code is. It's inside the mountain, isn't it? I'm retarded. I'm just gonna, you know, put that out there. Is this the way I came out? Yeah, it is. Well then, hold on one minute. 
Hold on just a darn tootin' second. I don't think they're... Why did I come in here? Now I'm just, you know, walking around aimlessly. Because now I'm confused. Hmm... Okay. Well, then you know what we should do. I should try to find a... Can't push that yet. Let's just say we don't weigh enough, if you know what I mean. <sighs> okay. I'm thinking about this. I'm thinking calm, collectively. Oh yeah, dinosaurs can walk in the shit, basically. <laughs> the piranha shit. Let me in. There's a Cheeto page, which is, you know, nice and dandy. Roar, 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 roar. Wait a second, hold on. Short, short, long, short, long, long. Short, short, long, short, long, long. Okay. 